Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. So today I will cover one important and an interesting interview question. Okay. So the question is how to extract first letter of all the character variable. Let's say you have multiple character variables. So that will having some five, six observation. Okay. So from each observation, I want the first letter only written in the data set. So I've taken one example. Let's say you have Hyderabad in the observation. So I just want the first letter, which is H. So it came here. So that should be printed in the data set. So first I've taken one example of a data set like this. So over here in data DSN, I have name, sex and city. So all these are your character variables. So we have taken three and each is having three observations, right? So we are having three observations. One is Rupa female Mumbai, Shilpa female Gwalior and Sachin male Hyderabad. Okay. So we are having this values. Okay. So what I want is from Rupa, I just want R from Shilpa. I just want S from Sachin. I want S from female. I want F from this female also F from male M from Mumbai M from Gwalior G and from Hyderabad H that is extract your first letter of all the character variables. So as we know to extract a substring from a string, we will use sub str. But over here we have so many observations, right? So instead of writing it for each observation sub str, we can use another function which is known as array. So what does array do? No, if you uh, arrays will help you to group all these variable together means it will group name, sex, city together temporarily so that you can take a similar action on each. So as you know, we want to take a similar action on name, sex, city. So arrays will group them and then you can take a similar action instead of writing the codes repetitively. So over here I have solved it using your array. Okay. So I will explain it to you now. So data, data set name I have given set DSN over here you can see now array. So the syntax is first you write array to call your array function. Then you write your array name. So some name you can give any name. So I've given class. Then you write the subscript. So subscript is the number of variables. Okay. So it will be like one, two, three. So we have three variables, right? So I can either write it as three because I want to make change in all the three, or I can also write it as asterisk. Asterisk means take all the variables from your, this data set. That's it. Now all our character types. So instead of mentioning each name in the array, I will write underscore character underscore. So this is known as your array element. So what is the syntax array, then array name, array name, then subscript, then your array element. Okay. So this is the syntax for your array over here. I followed the same. Okay. Now next, can you see do I? So do I means do index variable is equal to one, two, three over here. One, two, three means one is your name two, three means including sex and then city. So we are in do I, we are taking all the three variables. Okay. Now we want to take the action, right? So what is the syntax of sub str variable name is equal to sub str string comma start position comma number of characters required. So over here, what I did? class that is the array name then in parenthesis i why did i write i because i is holding what your name sex and city it is holding your name sex and city fine so class i means all the variables name sex and city is equal to sub str parenthesis first thing we write is your string so in string i am writing again class parenthesis i so that it includes your name sex and city so your action, uh, your character function sub str will be applied to all the three variable. That is why I wrote it in this format comma comma start position. So I want all the first letter. So the start position is one. How many letters are required? Only one. So one comma one, right? Rupa start position is R number one. And how many letters I want? Only number one. So one comma one like that. Then I will just end it, right? end semicolon then i will drop i why because i don't need the iteration number right so i will drop it even if you don't drop it it's fine i'll show you to you what will happen so i will run it now 
over here you can see i4 because 1 2 3 and then in 4 it will stop right so we don't need this i that is why i will drop i drop i yeah now just see the final output r rupa the first letter was r i got it from shilpa s from sachin s from female f from your male m from mumbai m from Gwalior G and from Hyderabad H. So first letter from all the character variables are extracted. Okay, it is as simple as that. So I hope my video is clear to all of you. Thank you everyone. Please subscribe to my channel. Daily I will try to upload one or two videos. Thank you.